In this video, we'll be learning how to solve two-step equations with fractions. Now, in our first example, we noticed that we have a fraction, and in that fraction, we have the variable in the numerator and a constant in the denominator. And so I'm going to show you how to solve these two different ways, just because I want you to pick the way that best suits you. Now, we have in our first example, 6 equals k over 5 minus 2. Well, the first way, I can look at this negative 2 right here and find its inverse, which is a positive 2. And I'm going to add a positive 2 to both sides to keep my equation balanced. And so 6 plus 2 is 8 equals k over 5. Let's make this look like a k. Let's try that one more time. K is over 5. Now, once I have finished that step, I can go ahead and I can use this as just kind of like cross multiplication. K times 1 is K. And 8 times 5 is 40. K times 1 and we do our cross multiplication since we have both fractions on either side. Now, the second way that I will show you how to do it is a little bit more using what we know as distributive property. So I have k over 5 minus 2. Now, in previous videos, I've said how we can get rid of a fraction is to multiply both sides by the common denominator. And in this case, the common denominator is 5. So if I can multiply this side by 5 over 1, and multiply this side by 5 over 1, and put this 6 over 1, it doesn't change the value because anything over 1 is what is the value of the numerator. And so here we go with 5 times 6 is 30, and 1 times 1 is 1. So we'll have 30 on my left-hand side. And if I use distributive property, to each term inside the parentheses, I have 5 times k is 5k, and 5k divided by 5, well, I'll just go ahead and write it as a fraction so we could see. And we know later on that 5 divided by 5 is just going to give us k by itself. And then 5 times a negative 2, because I always want to include the sign in front of the term, gives me a negative 10. So my next step is I'm going to go ahead and write 30 down. I'm going to simplify the 5 divided by 5 gives me k and k minus 10. Let's go ahead and add the inverse because we're getting really used to this with all the practice that we are doing. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides. And this is going to give me a final answer of k equals, nope, it's not going to give me that. Let's try that again. It's going to give me k is, or 40, is equal to k. Because right here, negative 10 and positive 10 gives me a 0. And so I can also just rewrite this in standard form. So I can have my letters on the left and my numbers on the right. Let's go back and check our work. We've done it two ways, but we want to check our work just to make sure that we got 40 as the correct answer. So I have 6. So let's try that again. I have 6 equals 40 was divided by 5 minus 2. So we have 6 right here, and 40 divided by 5 is 8, and 8 minus 2 is 6. You guys, we got it correct. So that is the right answer.